friends. Uh, I don't know. After everything we've been through, all the battles we faced together, somehow friends just doesn't quite do it justice. I think... Mm, yeah, comrades in arms sums it up best for me. The bond we share can only be forged in the heat of battle. It's one of the most unbreakable bonds there is. Some clients are behind on their payments again, and a few of the guys got themselves into trouble during their last job. <sighs> I'm not the boss, but somehow everything ends up being my problem. How's my life changed since getting my vision? Huh. Well, obviously it gives me an extra edge in battle, but honestly? The biggest thing for me is that it's helped me bring a few more mercs into the Blazing Beasts. I've lived around Aramites my whole life. As a little girl, I had a wooden sword for a toy. Everyone I knew growing up was either a merc or on their way to becoming one. And even the bowls we ate our meals from were carved by mercenary blades. After an upbringing like that, <laughs> It'd be more surprising if I didn't become a merc when I grew up, right? The Academia have taken a kinder view of us since everything that went down. I heard that they even released a ton of new regulations to support the desert folk. <laughs> It'd take me till the end of time to read and understand all that documentation. I just hope from now on, the Wall of Samiel will only mark the place where sandstorms end, rather than my folks' hopes and dreams. You know Ajilenok nuts, right? I used to go crazy for them as a kid. But my dad was the worst at shelling them. He'd just hack them to pieces with his knife, leaving a bunch of inedible mush behind. In the end, he'd salvage what he could by scraping pieces of the flesh off the shell, then mixing it with some milk and calling it porridge. <sighs> I do miss the taste of that porridge sometimes. And I miss that old nutcracker too. Kusela was his name. As a merc, he had a slapdash way of working and a whole lot of bravado. But he also saved me from the desert and did whatever he could to pass on to me everything he had. Without him, I wouldn't be who I am today.